Yeah, he just requested, he, yeah, he said he was the fire marshal and just asked if somebody would get there now. Students are coming around. I imagine if anybody knows these guys around here, they're trying to get a hold of them, but, um, um, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so you've called the other co-owner and... I am sorry, man, but it doesn't look good. Like it's coming out of everywhere. I was in the I was in my bathroom and I smelled a little bit of smoke and like it was covering the street. Like we didn't even know which house it was at first. Oh. Yeah. Okay, man. Did you get my number? If you did you get my number? If you need to call back or. Okay. All right. No problem. Bye. out of the shower and I smelled all this smoke and uh, my neighbor's house is on fucking fire um, we called the my neighbor called the fire department and I called uh, the guy who owns the house none of the students appear to be there but holy shit oh. so fucking scary we thought it was our own house that was on fire when Brad wasn't sure and then when I saw I started pounding on the fucking window and he called the fire department and I called the owner. We don't know if any students were in there, it doesn't look like it, but it's bad. Ah, oh, poop. Where's Brad? I don't know. He was on the other, he might be on the other side of that fire truck. The guy wanted his information and take a statement and stuff because he called in, so. Holy shit, there's... Are the boys home yet? The students? Yeah. No, I don't know. There are some students that were across the street that are going to go post. Wonder what they left on. Yeah, furniture and shit like that all has foam in it. And so, all of the earlier video that I took that I reviewed is just all over the fucking place and crazy and it doesn't make sense. Um, this morning, I was having a shower. Got out of the shower and was, you know, getting myself all purdied up. And a smell, smell, really bad, like acrid smell. Like I looked down at my heater in the bathroom, like no, that's not like a little bit of burning hair or something we got in the heater. And I, so I opened up the curtain in my bathroom and there's all I can see is smoke between this house next door here and our place. And I'm like, holy fuck something's on fire. I don't know if it's the front of my neighbor's house in the front here, or if it was this house at the time, I couldn't really tell, uh, especially in the bathroom. Once I got out of the bathroom, I could see like the, uh, on the roof there, there's the poop stacks or whatever they're called that air out your, there was smoke coming out of those, out around the windows. Um, even the roof had like smoke coming off of it, uh, which could have been condensation maybe just because the house interior was so fucking hot. Um, so I, I, I buck naked, get out of the bathroom. Um, I think I had lawn johns or something around here. The first time I went out to my neighbors, I was wearing nothing but uh, lawn johns and sandals, no shirt, uh, no, sh no socks or anything. And I pounded on his window and said, like try to get his attention. I didn't know if it was their house or ours. And when I went outside the first time actually, uh, 
there was smoke. Like you couldn't even see the street, and it was all going down uh, Beaverbrook Street. And so again, I still couldn't tell if it was us or if it was uh, the next door neighbor um, until I did come back, and that's when I saw like this smoke around. Uh, I had seen that Brad, our neighbor, was on the phone. Uh, he was like out back here checking, knocking on the doors. Um, so I, I, because of a couple of incidents that have happened with the previous owners. Uh, when they had students, um, there was one time they kicked a bunch of students out, and one of them came back. One of them came back all drunk, and uh, kicked in the door, and um, the door was left like open for like a week or more because the people that own the house. I, I'm gonna move because those guys just came back. They probably don't want me like filming, talking, filming their house. Um, eh, better view. So, um, where was I? Oh yeah. So the old people that lived there kicked out some students and a drunk guy came back one night, kicked in the door and then remembered once he was inside and there was no furniture and it was pitch black, hey, I don't live here anymore. So he left and um, I didn't call the cops because it, you know, it wasn't like a break and enter, it was like a break in stupidity. Um, so I waited like a week and then eventually went over and I found a, uh, they had a for rent sign that was in the living room. It wasn't up in the window, but it had the number on it. So I called them and said, hey, you know, your house has had the door kicked in for like a week. Um, so from then on, I had their number. But when they moved out and these new people bought, the uh, two guys bought this house um, next door to me, um, when I saw them there checking it out and they had bought it and everything, I got their numbers because I'm, 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 I'm very protective of my neighborhood and my neighbors. I am. It's just the way I've always been. I look out for my neighbors, whether they're looking out for me or not. I know my neighbors Brad and Haley in the house here, they look out for me, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, my neighbors, whether they're watching out for me or not, I'm watching out for anything. Anything. And uh, so I called one of the owners that I had the number. Maybe I'll flip this around here. Hold on. So I, uh, I called the guy who owns the house and I was like, uh, Tom, it's Chris and Fredericton, your neighbor on Beaverbrook Street, um, your house is on fire. And he was like, I think I woke him up because he was kind of groggy and lots of pauses. Um, and he was like, I, I, are you serious? And I'm like, dude, your fucking house is on fucking fire. And my adrenaline was starting to go. Um, he's like, did you call the, the fire department? And I'm like, well, my neighbor did. And I could just hear the sirens at that point. Um, so uh, the fire department came. Um, my neighbor and I talked to the fire marshal. They were looking for these guys and they're all these students. We didn't know if one was inside. Brad had knocked on the, um, knocked on the door and uh, nobody answered. But, you know, there was so much smoke. Man, when they opened the doors in the fire department, so much smoke poured out of that place. Um, and I left my bathroom window open because when I saw there was a fire, I didn't think to close it and I just fucking started trying to move as fast as I can uh, to do whatever I could to help. Um, but there was a lot of smoke and um, apparently the fire started in the basement uh, around a dryer. Oh, I guess I can't hold that like that. My arms get sore. Uh, yeah, uh, fire started around a dryer. Uh, clean your lint traps out people, clean your lint traps and clean behind your dryer. Um, now what we're hearing is, is that it may not have been lint or backup lint or piled lint. Um, their landlord apparently had someone over last week uh, to fix some electrical with the dryer and apparently it was with something to do with that, possibly something to do with that, but it was around the dryer and it's electrical, not necessarily lint, but clean around your dryer and washer and stuff like that because that's how a lot of fires happen i won't say who some friends of mine i'll say um i was house sitting their place and they had just left for vacation and they had clothes in the dryer and when i went and opened up the dryer uh the fins of the dryer had melted inside of the dryer and it was an old dryer it was pretty crappy but they got a new one now um but yeah lint dryers are a cause of a lot of fires uh, so clean your lint traps out um i'm like super paranoid now uh, brad was here all day he took the day off he's like freaked right out as well we were both like we're both just like shaking with adrenaline it's crazy um even if you're not like dragging somebody out of a house or something they're still you know you're still gonna have a lot of adrenaline going 
and um, oh, that's not that's better. Now you can't see my face. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, bad news. But the good news is, is that I always like to keep my curtains open because I, I don't know, I like to have my curtains open. And there's gonna be nobody over there anymore, so I can walk around naked now, which is awesome. But uh, the guys are all university students, and um, we've offered them any assistance we can. Uh, not that we can do all that much. Uh, they've got friends, of course. Um, UMB here is pretty good at putting uh, students up until they have a place, uh, get something figured out. But man, like just before Christmas, maybe they're in their exams right now. Um, you know, maybe if a lot of them have laptops, they took them to class with them because it seemed that all of them had been out at class. Uh, so maybe they had those. I mean, they got they have their lives, which is the most important thing, obviously. Um, but they probably lost like everything that they moved in there with, right? You know. Um, so it's very scary, uh, very sad. Uh, but again, nobody lost a life. Nobody was injured. The firemen were all okay. Um, yeah, and it was a crazy day, and I'm still kind of amped from uh, the adrenaline. Um, I didn't even eat. And then my bathroom room smells like fucking acrid smoke now. So I put some incense in there, burning incense in my bathroom. Um, and that was my day. That was yours.